In this video, we're going to take a closer look at the dictionaries page. This is not an action-packed video, but hopefully it will help you understand the different options more clearly. The dictionaries page allows you to set various text analysis processes and create and modify dictionaries, exclusion lists, and substitution lists. We'll take a closer look at the Dictionary Viewer section of the Dictionaries page in another video. For now, I'd like to concentrate on the five processing options at the top of the page. The first thing to note is that the five processing choices, preprocessing, stemming, substitution, exclusion, and categorization are all optional. WordStat can perform a frequency analysis on your text without enabling any of the options. And in many cases, especially when initially exploring your text, you may prefer not to enable them, or maybe just the exclusion list, for example. That said, I'm going to give you a brief description of each of the five options. Let's start at the top with preprocessing. This feature allows any user with programming skills or resources to customize the processing of textual information using specially designed external routines accessible in the form of an external exe file or a function in a DLL library. Stemming is a natural language processing routine that reduces inflected and derived forms of words to a common root form for example, the stem of write, writer, writing, and writings is write. Stemming can be useful in exploratory text mining or when developing automatic document classification models as it groups related words together, reducing the total number of word forms. However, it may also decrease precision. For example, in the sentiment analysis project, we found that the verb improve was often associated with negative comments, while its past tense form improved was generally associated with positive comments. Errors in stemming algorithms may also occur. For example, the English Porter stemmer will group words like universal, universe, and university into the single word root universe. Stemming may also fail to group related words that do not follow typical grammatical rules. The substitution process may be used to automatically replace specific words with other word forms. It may be used to substitute common misspellings or to perform a simple type of categorization where specific words are replaced with keywords. It can also be used to perform lemmatization. Lemmatization is a dictionary-moderated processing method in which various forms of words are reduced to a more limited number of canonical forms. It's important to remember that lemmatization, like stemming, may decrease the measurement precision of some concepts or topics. WordStat, however, allows you to monitor all substitutions and to override them by creating a list of custom substitutions. Exclusion is used to remove all words that are not to be included in the frequency analysis. It's otherwise known as a stop list. These are words that have little semantic value, such as pronouns or conjunctions. To take a look at the exclusion list, click on the exclusion list tab in the dictionary viewer section at the bottom half of the page. You can easily tailor the exclusion list to your needs. You can remove a word by selecting it and then clicking on the remove button, or you can add a word by selecting add, typing the new word into the new words field, and hitting OK. Wildcard symbols are supported in the exclusion list. A categorization dictionary has a number of functions. It allows you to remove variant forms of a word in order to treat them as a single instance and to group related words under meaningful categories. It may also be used to perform a frequency analysis on manually entered codes. WordStat comes with a number of categorization dictionaries. Others are available for purchase on our website, and of course, you can always make your own. The categorization dictionary is structured as a hierarchical tree, where words, word patterns, phrases, and rules are grouped under categories. We'll go into much greater detail in another video discussing dictionary creation.
There are a number of categorization settings. The level option allows you to specify up to which level the categorization process should be performed. If you set up to level 1, Canada, Mexico, and Brazil, and all of the individual country names will all be coded as country, level 1. Let's take a look. If we set the level to 2, these same words, Canada, Mexico, Brazil, and all of the other country names, will now be coded as North America, South America, or Central America, respectively. And if we set it to 3, they'll be coded as individual country names. If you set the level option to shown as, and we'll just close this one for example, the categorization will match the tree in the dictionary viewer. Central America is all grouped under one. Categories only codes the last category at or below the specified level, so that's two or below. This option is especially useful when working with unbalanced hierarchical categorization systems, where individual words are stored at different levels. Use full path as category name does just that. It uses the full path of an item as a category name. We'll go back to level 3, and we'll take a look. And we can see the full path where we have country, North America, slash Mexico. Beside the processing options, you have a number of buttons, which allow you to open, edit, delete, and create new files, as well as in the case of categorization, export and import. So there you have a brief explanation of the five processing options. Please see the user guide for a more in-depth explanation. We'll also be discussing these options further and how they're used in other videos.